Hey Shig, welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So for this week, um, I was guided to do the overall message for the week um, for the daily collectives um, to do a separate video um, explaining the overall energy because um, it's one thing to kind of just, you know, glance over it, but um, it's another thing to really like dive into what spirit is um, encouraging here for this week. And my hope is that it is beneficial to someone, okay? So if it, if it speaks to one, you know, that's good in itself, right? Okay, so um, this is for January 24th to the 30th. Again, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I do advise you to check your other placements. No, don't do that. That's, <laughs> that's my opening for my other videos. Um, but don't try to make it if it doesn't fit, okay? So what um, the overall energy for the week is the... Um, heartache and loss card here that um you know number three uh it kind of you know represents like the three of swords energy when you are like you know relating it to tarot but it's a little deeper in this deck this is a psychic um the psychic tarot deck okay um and right behind it i'm just now noticing but right behind it is that ace of pentacles energy or the um the love begins card okay um well it's actually ace of cups energy Okay, but what I can say um, just from the message is that with that heartache and loss card, um, <clears throat> it says disappointment, sorrow, and separation. Okay, so this can be from someone that you have feelings for, someone that you love. This can be um, an experience in love. This can be from family that you love. Okay, this can be in any um, sense, okay, or any... Uh, you know, any category, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, but the two cards or oracles that came out were triumph. Okay. And that's like the cherry energy. Okay. For this deck and spiritual strength. All right. Okay. It's like the nine of wands energy, but it's a different message. Okay. So with the heartache and loss card. Okay. This is the overall energy for the week. It's talking about disappointment, sorrow, and separation. Um, it said it takes all of your strength to move past pain and heal your heart. I feel like this week, um, you know, the collective might be experiencing um, a shift in where uh, you are really pushing yourself to like overcome some type of like uh, painful um, experience in life. Okay, like you're really encouraging yourself to push forward okay um it says the love that you once gave to another should now be focused on you okay so um i feel like you know even with this heartache and loss uh car like you might have really sown your seeds or really um gave of yourself in a situation okay and maybe there was just some type of disappointment sorrow or separation in that okay spirit is like okay it is now time for you to take that care, that love, and that attention and apply it to you, okay? Um, it said, painful experiences are just as valuable as joyous ones, okay? It also said that you might not agree with that at this time, but life has its way of pushing us forward when we don't know the destination, okay? So in addition to the don't know the destination piece, um, I pulled some other cards on that. And we got um, Hidden Path, okay? We got Feminine, all right? And we got Inner Child, okay? And, you know, I always look at the bottom of the deck when a card comes out. So here are some, like, buzzwords. Um, enjoying Life. Fresh start. Fresh start was the last card on the deck, you know, when the last card came out, okay? Um, hidden paths, unknown territories, life cycles, feminine energy, okay? So just, you know, that can play a part in anything that might be going on for you um, this week, okay? But it does seem like someone is, um, or the collective energy is going through um, a, a hard time right now, okay? But spirit is like, you got it, keep pushing forward, you're coming out on the other side, okay? So with the Triumph card, right? The Triumph Oracle, it said that your soul is nudging you forward, okay? 
It said, wherever you're going, it's important that it's well thought out though. Okay, so at this point, it's like, you know you're going forward. You know you're going to a fresh start. You know you're going forward to something new. It is time to start planning. It is time to make sure that your ducks are in a row. It's time to um, make sure that it's like well organized and thought out, okay? Um, it also said that it's time to get single-minded and focus on the end goal, okay? So this, if anything, it's, it's almost like getting tunnel vision, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, it said, visualize your success as if, as if it were happening right now. That is like manifestation overload, right? It's like you're taking the end goal and, you know, visualizing as if it was right in front of you, like the right now, okay? Already seeing, and, and so the, the main buzzword for this reading, and it was the card that was on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling the oracles, was the hope card. And it's about having faith. That's the star energy. It's like having faith in the unknown. And even when you can't see the destination, it's like automatically picturing what you want the destination to be that's manifesting, okay? And bringing that into the present, okay? As if it were right now, okay? Tunnel vision, focus on the end goal, right? Okay, so it says you don't have to do it alone, okay? This is a time for you to use the resources of others, as well as yourself okay so for those who like to 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 work hard in isolation this isn't necessarily the time to do that like if you are working towards a project and you know of someone that is very savvy in a certain area that will be beneficial for you to like achieve your goal there's nothing wrong with you reaching out to that person and asking for assistance and support and help okay it's like spirit is like focus on the end goal Okay, and, and let's, you know, create that plan and, and, you know, next steps to get there. Okay, um, in addition to the triumph card, we got the spiritual strength card. Okay, and that message is about um, encouragement. Okay, so this is like that nine of wands, even when you're like down and out. Okay, when it's like, you know, um, the, the last second or not the last second but it's like the last quarter of the game and you're like really pushing through and you're like you know i'm so tired you know it could be baking outside maybe it's a football game i don't know i don't watch sports right now <laughs> okay but this is talking about encouragement okay it says you have the power to complete anything you've been working on so keep pushing even when you like dang you know you don't you know it's encountered another hurdle just keep pushing, okay? It says this card's um, main focus is about courage, discipline, stability, and persistence, okay? It says this is not the time to give up. I highlighted that, okay? <laughs> like this is not the time to give up, right? You've been through so much to get to this point. You're stronger and wiser now because of all of the experiences, because of what you've encountered, because of what you've had to overcome, okay? So, when I pulled the tarot on it, you know, I just had to get an idea, dive a little deeper. Um, I got these uh, Eight of Swords, all right? This Eight of Swords energy is about self-imposed restrictions. This is the I can't, okay? So, you know, you have a goal, you know, you have something you want to accomplish, you have something you want to achieve, and it's more so you're thinking about all the obstacles that are going to keep you from getting to that goal, okay? The self-imposed restrictions um, are, are built up from that past heartache, okay? So the self-imposed restrictions um, I have here are built from the past heartache. They, are, they were created in your mind. Remember, self-imposed restrictions are restrictions we create in our mind, Okay? These restrictions were built from that past heartache, okay? So you can always break through those chains because you created them in your mind. They don't really exist, okay? Um, it also, we also got the Ace of Wands, okay? And that talks about new opportunities. It talks about new ideas, new inspirations, okay? New, um, new opportunities, but I uh, related that or connect that to the Fresh Start card. Okay, like you're moving forward. There is an outcome. Okay, there is a hidden path. There is a new direction that you're going down. You don't know exactly what the destination will look like, but you're having faith that it's going to be everything that you expected and wanted and desired it to be. Okay, and with this Knight of Swords energy, is the card that was right in the middle because five cards came out. 
The Knight of Swords is about taking decisive action. This is about choosing a path and going down it, okay? Um, this is about going straight forward, okay? It says making a conscious choice. No, it says, I wrote. <laughs> making a conscious choice to move away from unhealthy patterns, memories, or pain and more towards calmer waters. I said that because the next card is the Six of Swords, right? And that is about moving towards calmer times, moving towards a resolution, moving towards um, the end goal, right? The end goal. Like if you are going through some type of like struggle, this is about taking, making the conscious choice and taking decisive action to move towards the end goal, okay? And with the Page of Cups energy as the final card, this is about, you know, it says message of love on there, but I feel like it's more so like healing. It's almost like you're saying, um, let's say you experienced something in your past that caused you a lot of heartache. It, you know, it created these uh, restrictions you developed in yourself. It's almost like you're forgiving yourself. It's like, I, I, I'm sorry to yourself. Um, it's you're forgiving the past. It's you're forgiving those who might have, you know, contributed to the, you know, that heartache from the past. It's you um, healing a situation, whether it's with someone, whether it's within you, but it's creating the path forward. It's creating um, the, you know, like the GPS, the direction without any type of like detours or, um, roadblocks okay so the whole time that i was doing this reading i was thinking about because it was like oh the bottom of the deck was the world energy okay and that's about ending a cycle right so the whole time i was doing the reading i was like thinking about you know how you're doing your laundry and like you know the washing machine goes off and it like makes the sound or like you know notifies you that the cycle is complete okay the cycle is complete. Mm -hmm. It is. It's getting there. So don't quit. Don't stop. The cycle is about to complete. Okay? So Spirit wants you to keep pushing forward, okay, this week. All right? So we're going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle for the weekly uh, or the daily messages. Um, before this week, Spirit wants you to keep pushing forward. Spirit wants you to um, see the end goal and picture it as it is right now, you know, as if it was happening right now. And to overcome that past heartache and pain that could be causing any type of self-imposed restrictions now. Because you deserve it. Spirit loves you and so do I. I wish you already should. Bye. Oh, I don't have my remote. <laughs>